This video is brought to you by AmeriUSA.com, where you can screen tenants 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In this episode, we will be discussing Rhode Island Landlord Tenant Laws. The following is a summary of landlord tenant laws in the state of Rhode Island as they apply to residential rental property. Topics include disclosures, withholding rent, the right to enter, security deposits, eviction, increasing rent, and more. Required Disclosures Contact Information A landlord must disclose to the tenant in writing at or before the commencement of the tenancy the name and address of the person authorized to manage the premises and the owner of the premises or authorized agent for the purpose of service of process and for receiving notices and demands. Code Violations Before entering into any residential rental agreement, a landlord must inform the prospective tenant of any outstanding housing code violations which exist on the rental property. Foreclosure A landlord who becomes delinquent on a mortgage securing a rental property for a period of 120 days must notify the tenant that the property may be subject to foreclosure, and until the foreclosure the tenant must continue to pay rent to the landlord as provided under the rental agreement. Security Deposit Limit Up to one month's rent may be collected for the security deposit in Rhode Island. Deadline for returning a security deposit A landlord has 20 days to return the deposit back to the tenant upon moving out. Late Fees Rhode Island laws do not cover assessing a late fee, so the lease agreement must mention the fee for being late in order to charge one. Increasing Rent Month-to-month agreements require at least a 30-day written notice to raise the rent. Rental agreements of a longer duration dictate the terms and any future changes regarding tenancy. Withholding Rent A tenant may exercise the right to hire a professional to fix a problem and deduct the cost to the repair if the landlord fails to act within 20 days. But before exercising this right, the tenant must provide written notice to the landlord allowing 20 days to resolve the problem unless it's an emergency which may be reasonably sooner. The maximum repair limit is $125. Terminating Tenancy and Eviction An immediate notice to quit may be used for any tenant who possesses, uses, or sells illegal drugs or who commits or attempts to commit any crime of violence on the premises or in any public space adjacent. A 20-day unconditional notice to quit may be used for any lease violation or act affecting health or safety that occurs twice within six months, as long as notice was given for the first violation. A 20-day conditional notice to cure or quit may be used for any initial material non-compliance. The right to enter. A landlord must provide the tenant a two-day notice of entry before being permitted inside the unit. For more information, Additional laws and articles can be found at AmericanLandlord.com.